Hello, and welcome to Research for Pandemic Effects on Small Businesses. My name is Ian McDermott, and I am the librarian who's going to help you with the research for this project. As you likely know, the library is closed, but we offer many services online. First, you can reach out to me via email with any questions about research for this class. You can also chat live with a librarian during the hours posted on this slide. You can also email the library anytime and expect a response quickly, usually within a couple hours. Next, we're going to talk about using the library from home. The library's homepage is a great place to start your research because the ebooks, articles, videos, and other resources are collected to support your coursework at LaGuardia. On the homepage, click on the box labeled Students to see the variety of resources and services available to you, from chatting live with a librarian to video tutorials on how to use our databases. One really important resource that we have is ebooks and online textbooks that are available to all of you through the library's website. All of our ebooks can be found using OneSearch, the library's default search engine, which is kind of like Google for the library. It includes books, articles, videos, and other resources. As you can see, when you use OneSearch, the image that's linked on this slide will help you filter your results. Because it searches everything at once, the results can be a little overwhelming. So you'll need to do filtering to make sure you're only searching for the ebook that you're looking for. Alternatively, you can also search individual databases to find ebooks. The one I would recommend the most is eBook Central, which has hundreds of thousands of ebooks. Some of them you can read on your computer, and some of them you can even download for two weeks at a time, like you're checking them out from the library. And you can watch a tutorial on the library's website on how to use eBook Central. EBSCO eBook Collection is another eBook database that you can use that's in a familiar search interface, um, the EBSCO one, which you've maybe used before in databases like Academic Search Complete. Next, if you can't find an ebook through the library's website, I would encourage you to look at one of our area public library systems. New York Public, Queens Public, and Brooklyn Public all offer ebooks uh, through their websites. You can sign up for a library card if you don't have one on the website, and you can download apps so that you can read the books on your phone, on a tablet, or on a computer. Um, they really have something to offer for everybody. Also note that area public libraries are starting to reopen, so you can also request books from their website and pick them up at a neighborhood branch. And the last topic we're going to discuss in this section is how to start looking at databases through the library's website. We subscribe to over 100 databases with millions of articles from scholarly journals, magazines, and newspapers. Click the box labeled Databases and Articles to find a quick list of reliable databases or explore them by subject or resource type. The ones we're going to focus on for right now, there will be more to come, is the free digital accounts that all LaGuardia students can get for the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. This gives you access to all of their content on multiple devices. These papers are great for finding articles about the neighborhoods you are researching and how COVID-19 has impacted the city's small business community. Just note that when you sign up for your account, you'll click the link on the library's homepage and it'll take you to the newspaper's website where, you'll, where you will create an account using your LaGuardia email address. You'll need to create a password to finish signing up for the account, and then you'll have to go into your LaGuardia email account to verify the account, and then you'll be good to go. 